the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Monday, May 2nd. I'm James Spann. The weather stays wet today and tonight, but drier air comes in here beginning tomorrow afternoon and some chilly nights coming up later this week. Let's check it out as we start the day. That's the water vapor satellite view. A pretty moist air mass across the deep south ahead of a surface boundary and will be fairly wet, especially this afternoon and tonight. Temperatures around the nation. Look at the cold air again around Denver and parts of the Rocky Mountain states. But around here, we're starting off the day mostly in the 60s. We'll expect a high in the 70s today. We'll be a little below average because of clouds and rain. There's the watch warning map around the nation. I see a few pockets where flash flood watches are currently in effect, like southeast Louisiana, parts of West Virginia and Kentucky, and also a severe thunderstorm watch until 9 o'clock this morning for parts of Arkansas, Louisiana, over into the Mississippi Delta. Severe weather I don't think will be a problem here today. This is the convective outlook. The standard slight risk is upper parts of North Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, and Delaware. There is a marginal risk into North Alabama, basically along and north of Interstate 20. And we might see a few storms with small hail, gusty winds, but the overall severe weather threat is quite low. And then tomorrow, a marginal severe weather risk for all of Florida, up to the Atlantic coast, and extreme southeast Alabama, places like Dothan, Ozark, Geneva, Eufaula. And the same thing, maybe a few storms down there with hail and gusty winds. This is the rain for the next five days, valid through Monday morning of next week, suggesting maybe one inch for a decent part of Alabama, a little bullseye of 2.2 inches down around uh, uh, Demopolis. But again, after tomorrow, things will be trending drier. So let's take a look at the day-by-day -day situation with a GFS. This is the 06Z run. Valid today at 1 o'clock. You can see troughing to the west. Looks like a little weak surface low is riding a, a surface wave coming through here today. So we'll expect occasional rain, maybe some thunder. This is the high-res HRRR. 2 o'clock today looking pretty wet. So... Uh, rain coverage will be pretty high later this afternoon and tonight. This is 1 o'clock tomorrow. The better chance of rain shifting down into southeast Alabama. This is the high-res uh, NAM model, valid tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock, and still the chance of lingering showers. So we'll uh, just forecast showers ending early in the day. The sky where we are becomes partly sunny by afternoon. And again, highs mid to upper 70s tomorrow. The day Wednesday looking pretty good. The sky should be sunny. The high will be somewhere in the low to mid 70s. Good north breeze. But a clipper is north of the state. And the uh, NAM is suggesting we're going to need to mention a chance of showers Wednesday night with that clipper. Traditionally, you don't see a lot of rain with those things, but... We're seeing some decent consistency in this idea. So the day Wednesday looks dry, then a chance of showers in here Wednesday night. And that should be the last chance of rain for a while. Thursday, the clipper is on by. Should be a sunny day, and that could be a pretty cool day. In fact, the uh, GFS is showing a high of only 69 for Birmingham on Thursday. After starting the day in the upper 40s, and Friday will feature a pretty cool morning. A 1020 millibar high is over Memphis. Uh, the GFS is printing a, a low of 46 Friday morning. Wow. Then a high of 73. Just a beautiful day with temperatures below average and very low humidity. You see the anomalies suggesting temperatures may be about 15 degrees below average for a pretty good chunk of the state on Friday. Saturday as the weekend begins, the weather could not be better. Sunny with a high around 80. Sunday, another beautiful day. Sunny with low 80s likely. Humidity stays low. And a week from today, this is Monday, May 9th, troughing to the west. A surface low is over Oklahoma and Kansas. We're still dry. This is suggesting our next chance of rain might be around Tuesday of next week. And this is the end of the forecast period, Wednesday of next week, May 11th, troughing getting closer, and that looks relatively wet. Check the temperatures here for the next 15 days. Yeah, look at those cool numbers later this week. That'll feel good. Good to see those 40s. 
Probably not many more of those left until the summer gets here, and then we warm up later in the month. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.